Today we are going to make a trivet. And for our trivet, we will need to use 100% cotton yarn because remember, we're going to be putting hot things on this trivet. So we don't want anything scorched or burned or caught on fire. Always 100% cotton when you're doing work for the kitchen. Right, I gotta have my afternoon coffee, guys. To get this started. So this is Linda with Little Wendy's Daydreaming. And this will be our kitchen trivets. And I have some here that I've already done. Okay, first off, also did I mention this is a left-handed tutorial because that is the only way I know how to crochet. And I found this little yarn at my local Walmart. And it, like I said, it is 100% cotton. Some really pretty colors. I could only find one purple. So I have done pink before. And this is the basket weave. This is what I'm gonna be doing is the basket weave of a different color so you can see. I believe that's the back side. This is the front side. You can see how pretty that stitch is. And this is only one strand and it is an alpaca blend. So we couldn't use this as a trivet because it does not have any cotton in it and I have a 5.0 millimeter hook and let me see this is a two ounce weight worsted four ply and over here it gives you the colors there's other languages let me get past those other languages and it does say 100% cotton right there. And this is called Peaches and Cream. You find it at your local Walmart. It comes in pretty small. I have to get close so I can see how much it is. It's a medium weight. And you can use five point millimeter hook, which is what I have. So there's 95 yards in this little skein. And you see how pretty variegated that is. So the pink, this, this one was the pink, and I've already done the pink. And it takes about three fourths of this. So you can't get two out of it, but four, you can have three rolls a bit and you can get four. Like I said, you, you see very few left-handed tutorials. I make my little slip knot. Uh, many people just use their hook. I do both whenever I feel like it. So what I'm going to do is make 21 chains. So, and like I said, we're using two pieces of yarn. 2021. Okay, and do it kind of loosely too. Don't do it really tight because you've got to be able to do your double crochet. On the next row will be double crochet. So do it lightly it, because this is cotton. It doesn't have a lot of stretchy give. So first yarn over, go into the fourth, yarn over, bring it through two, yarn over, bring it through two more. There's your double crochet. And we'll do this all the way to the end. And when I get you to the end, then I will bring you back. Okay, so we're doing double crochet all the way to the end. And we will not include that first loop. So we yarn over, we go through the top And then we bring it out, 
we yarn over again, bring it through two, yarn over again, and bring it through the last two. And I want a total of 18 double crochets on this second row. And I will count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and one left. That's what I thought. I don't have any stitch markers, so I can't use those little stitch markers. And this is my last one. So this is what you have on the first row. Isn't that pretty already? This teal is really pretty. So I got my little, get my thread out of the way. Okay, now we chain two and you turn your work. And the very first thing I'm going to do is yarn over and I should have two and I'm going to go through the whole which if you're using only a single there'll be two strands here but I have four so I'm going through that whole V yarn over now I'm doing another double crochet. So I start out with two. And then the next two, I'm going to go through these posts. See those two posts there? So this is a little bit trickier. Now keep your work really loose. Don't tighten it up because it'll just make your fingers ache and your work too tight. So just try to do it in relaxing and there's nothing wrong with taking it out and starting over. I've done it many times. So I yarn over, I go through that post, yarn over, bring it back through, yarn over, bring it through two. I should have two left and I yarn over. So I'm doing another double crochet. And the way that I'm doing this, it, it lets us make these little pockets. So after the first couple of rows, you'll see it, it'll be taking some good shape. So I do two of those, yarn over, go back through, yarn over, pull through two. Sometimes it can be a little tricky with two. And yarn over, pull it through the last two. So you should have two that's actually standing up a little bit. If that makes sense. Now the next two, the next two yarn over, I go through the total V, pull through two, and pull through two more. So that one's going to be standing up a little bit. See, and it'll be back. And I'll do that to the next one. So we just work in twos. Everything will be two across. Okay. And if I get it a little closer, you can see how these posts are standing up now. They're just a little elevated. So the next ones, I will yarn over. I will find my next post and go under the whole post Come back up, yarn over, come through two, yarn over and come through the last two. Let's see if I can get my yarn out of the way. It keeps wanting to follow me. And they'll yarn over, I'll go through this post. And yarn over, go through the last post. And then the very next two, I will do the V on the next two. So we're gonna, now this is not for the beginner 
crocheter. This is for someone who knows how to crochet, knows the double crochet stitch. And uh, so I did one and I need to do one more. Yarn over, go through, yarn over, come back through. I hope you can see this enough to tell what I'm doing. Okay, so we yarn over and we're looking for that post. Bring it all the way through. And it seems a little bulky, but don't worry, it'll start taking shape after you get through that second row pretty good. So yarn over, go through the second post. Pull it through, yarn over, come to the last two. Okay. Now, the next ones, we are doing the V. We'll do our double crochet, and then we'll do one more double crochet. You get the idea. Now the next two, we'll do the post. Now this is just the way I do it. I, I don't really have a written pattern. I learned to crochet when I was 15. My grandmother set a cross for me because I was left-handed and she was right-handed. And she showed me the crochet steps by doing it just kind of like doing it in the mirror. Now the last two stitches, because I ended here with the ones on the post, then I will do them in the V all the way through. I'm gonna have to do my two double crochets. And my last one, is in that last V, and you have to search for that last V. There it is. You gotta search for it a little bit because it's a little tight. Okay, I'll do my last double crochet, and the very next thing is to do two chains and turn your work. Okay. Now, I will do the very same thing all the way across. And we'll, we'll just keep turning our work until we make a square. Yarn over, go through this post, just like if it was in the middle. Come back out, do your double crochet. And it's gonna seem odd because it's kind of there on the side, but until you get to the, till you get more rows, it will make sense. Okay, yarn over, where's that other post? So we're doing the opposite that we did the other side. This is the back side. Let me get my... Okay, in the next, we yarn over. We go into the V. Do our double crochet. Remember to keep your work light. Don't get it tight. Do the second one. Always working in twos. We did another V. And now, this one has the two that are over the post. So the very next one, we go under. Grab the whole post, do our double crochet. The same thing with the very next one. Do our double crochet. This variegated makes really pretty trivets. Okay. So the next two is in the V. Whoops. And if you drop a yarn, just go back in and pick it up. It happens when you're using two yarns. 
so all right and do the second one into the V and we'll do this from now on until we get to the end we'll just keep turning now we'll go into the post bring it out do your double crochet and do another double crochet and this one goes into the second post do your double crochet now you can see what I'm doing okay these next two go into the V so it's just same thing all the way to the end and do your du two double crochets the next two are are the post they want wants to gum up on me today and we did our double crochet we'll do the last post do your double crochet now we have four left these next two are in the V do your double crochet yarn over come through the last two and there's the V and for the first one if you don't want to use the variegated sometimes it's a little easier to see if you're using a plain yarn Okay, now I'm in the last two, and these will be the post. And it's kind of awkward doing them in the end, but you need them done at the end. So you go under, get your post, do your double crochet. Make sure you have both of those strands. the last one go under the post do your double crochet this is how this is what you end up with so far left-handed crochet I always struggled finding a pattern for left-handed crochet when I was growing up so I would just learn the stitch I wanted to use and I would basically just make my own pattern. I made a lot of blankets, afghans we called them then. They call them throws now. As a matter of fact, I believe my I made one for my niece which I think she was born in 1974. So I made one for her and I, I, maybe even my sister still has it. But it was, I think it was called a ripple. But I love doing that stitch. And I used to make those for gifts because I didn't have any money to spend on family. So I would I would find bargains for my yarn. Okay, so I've made the two back ones. Next time I am making the post double crochet. Okay, there's my double crochet under the post. Now, we're going in the B and 
I'm going to do a little bit more so you can start seeing the pattern. I know you can see it. If I turn it like this, you can see you can see it starting. Here's the here's the post on both end. Okay, so we go in the V. We do our double crochet. We go into the second V. Okay. Let me go ahead and get to the end. The next two are the post. I'll do the last double crochet on that post. And my last two will be in the V. You just find your little V. Now we're, we're about to get in. Okay, now the next one, I've done my two posts on the end. This will give a little border. The next will be in the V. And I'm just going to continue doing this same pattern. Two in the V, two in the post. When you get to the end, make sure you have the right number, which is 18, chain two, turn your work, and go to the next one. Okay, see, it's really taking shape. Do my two chains, turn my work. Whoops, almost lost it. Let's see, I love this stitch. We started here, here's our chain. Here's our first row of all double crochet. Then here's our second row, double crochet in the post, double crochet in the V, double crochet in the post, just like that. So when we count the rows, We'll count one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So you see it's square. Okay, now I'll keep continuing until we get to the end. Okay, and here we are working on one, two, three, four rows. And we'll do the last two rows and then I'll show you how I end it tie it off we'll do the last one if you want it larger you can keep going and i'm just going to keep going till i get to the end double crochet this is the last one and then we'll go back to the post so I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial for my basket weave trivet. These will make nice gifts, especially if you do a couple at a time. Because if you're using them for a casserole, you need two instead of one. If you're using them for a, a hot plate, you only need one. And my advice, don't do like I did. Get you two rolls and work from each roll instead of working on both ends. It was just that they didn't have another roll, so I had to do it this way. And because I really love purple and teals. And double crochet in the post. I mean in the, the V. Okay, so this is our last row, and like I said, we ended it with the teal, 
just like we started. And it really makes a nice little trivet. Okay, this is the last couple of stitches. And uh, after a while, you'll get into a rhythm and before you know it, these little things are, you can make them really quickly. And this is the last double crochet in our little project today. Okay. And that that is our trivet. And when I tie it off, I do one chain and I bring it out usually three or four inches. I want to be able to weave it in at least halfway across on these. And I'll take my little, and I don't use a, a needle, and I'll tighten it. And this is how I finish. I just you can go either way. And I just I just weave it in and out until you cannot see it any longer. And it's a little different when you're doing it in front of the camera. You gotta make sure you can see it. So I just basically hook cook it and bring it back through and it will be hidden. I'll run it all the way through here and this one I will do the same. But you get the idea. There you have it. Now I can't set my coffee mug on here because it's got these little legs. Now you could use it as a coaster for a hot cup of coffee whatever you want to use it for. So there you go. What do you think? Okay, so this is all we have left, which is a little less than half. So if you take another skein, you can make a larger one with this left over. And just remember, 100% cotton. I just love these colors. So if you liked our little time together today, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like. And if you want to see more, hit that little button and I'll bring you more. See ya, bye.